Seven Strategies to Address Team Negativity, Part 2, Set Clear Expectations. People behave in the area in which they are measured. Put another way, what gets measured gets done. Team negativity is often caused by two things. Number one, a lack of clear expectations, and two, tolerating the negativity. Now, most of us do a pretty good job of setting expectations for the tasks we want our team members to do. However, we often don't set expectations for the behaviors needed for strong teams, behaviors like empathy, cooperation, listening, giving people benefit of the doubt, etc. Leaders are often also weak at providing constructive criticism. For example, they aren't good with conflict. And over time, they tolerate the negativity in others to avoid the conflict. When leaders set expectations for tasks, and they set expectations for behaviors and attitudes, and provide regular feedback, team negativity becomes team positivity. Stay tuned for part three.